Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com, the climate guy setting the record straight about climate. In my previous video, I showed how the climate mafia got to Carl Mears at RSS and got him to corrupt his satellite data. But this story is much bigger than that one isolated incident. Over time, the surface temperatures, then the balloon temperatures, and now the satellite temperatures have been corrupted. The 1995 IPCC report showed no net warming from 1958 through 1994. The IPCC is the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This graph from the 1995 IPCC report showed surface temperatures, radio sound balloon temperatures, and satellite temperatures. None of the data sources showed any warming from 1958 until 1995. This didn't serve the needs of the climate mafia, so they massively altered the surface temperatures. Since the year 2001, NASA has doubled 1880 to 2000 warming. The lower graph shows NASA's 2001 version of surface temperatures, and the upper graph shows NASA's current version. Most of this data tampering was accomplished by altering the set of stations which were being used. So the climate mafia had successfully corrupted the surface temperatures, but they still had two big problems, the balloon and satellite data. The balloon data was controlled by a NOAA employee at Silver Springs, Maryland, Jim Angel. After Jim retired a few years ago, NOAA went to work corrupting his data. The orange line is the last version of radio sound temperatures which Jim Angel published in 2012, and the blue line is the current version published by NOAA. Note that Jim Angel's version showed very little net warming and no warming at all since 1998. This is what was known as the global warming hiatus. In order to justify Barack Obama's fake climate treaty, NOAA had to get rid of the hiatus. So they simply corrupted Jim Angel's data to make it go away. Since Jim Angel retired, his data has been massively altered to show lots of warming since 1998. This next graph shows the data tampering which has occurred. This graph shows the adjustments which NOAA has made to Jim Angel's data since 2012. They did exactly what they do with all climate data to bring it in compliance with the climate mafia. They've massively cooled the past and massively warmed the present. We see the same pattern over and over again, cooling the past and warming the present. We see this in essentially every government data set, and we see it repeatedly. It happens over and over and over again. So the government climate mafia had successfully corrupted both of the data sets under their control, the surface temperatures and the balloon data. But they still had a huge problem. They didn't control the satellite data. The two satellite data sets were the remote sensing system shown in green and University of Alabama at Huntsville shown in turquoise. The not yet corrupted satellite temperatures showed little or no warming since 1998 but the massively corrupted surface temperatures did. They showed a lot of warming. As I predicted two years ago, the climate mafia got to Carl Mears at RSS and got him to corrupt his satellite data. This is hot off the press from The Guardian. It's bragging about how RSS version V4 from Carl Mears now shows more warming than surface temperatures. So the climate mafia has successfully corrupted the surface temperatures, the balloon temperatures, and one of the two satellite data sets. The only holdout left at this time is the University of Alabama at Huntsville. That's John Christie and Roy Spencer. John and Roy are two of the very few honest climate scientists left in the world. The climate mafia won't be able to get to John and Roy. They're too honest. Intimidation from Democratic thugs like Rhode Island Senator Whitehouse won't have any impact on them. Using a more traditional mafia technique, thugs actually shot bullets into John and Roy's offices on Earth Day. That didn't slow John and Roy down. They're too honest. They're actual scientists. So my forecast is that the climate mafia will simply try to marginalize John and Roy.
What they'll do is they'll say that all the other data sets, surface, radio sound, and RSS satellite, agree, and that UAH is an outlier. Make no mistake about it, the global warming scam is the biggest scam in science history. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.